Hi folks, my name is Mike Passick with Watermark and Company. We're back on one of our design renovated projects at Highland Terrace. Today is a milestone day. We're pouring over 1,200 square feet of concrete for a breakfast room addition, garage addition, and covered patio. And for today's topic, we're going to cover some of the fundamentals that you need to know as a homeowner before pouring a concrete foundation. When pouring a concrete foundation, whether for a room addition, garage, patio cover, or new home construction, it is necessary to secure a building permit. A concrete foundation also requires specifications that have been designed by a licensed structural engineer. Additionally, the engineer will need to be on hand to inspect the foundation's rebar installation prior to placing the concrete. Once the foundation site has been inspected and approved, the structural engineer will issue an engineer's letter stating that the foundation has been built to specification. A copy of this letter will need to be provided to the building inspector. Today I want to talk to you about the prep work that goes into building a foundation. As you can see here, we're working in an area that has clay soil which is very expansive. So the structural engineer has specified a 30 inch deep concrete beam with number 5 rebar at the top and at the bottom of the beam. We also have number five rebar downs that are drilled six inches into the existing slab that will tie the two foundations together. There are a few technical items that you, as a homeowner, should be aware of when a concrete foundation is required by your renovation. First, prior to placing the concrete, the concrete contractor should shoot elevations from various points around the top of the form boards. This will ensure that the slab will be placed at the intended elevations and provides a final chance to adjust the forms if needed. Second, once the foundation's dirt work has been completed, the area should be covered with 6 mil poly to keep moisture from wicking out of the soil to the surface of the slab. Not only will this reduce indoor air moisture, it will also eliminate the potential for issues with moisture-sensitive flooring materials, such as hardwood floors. Lastly, you will need to determine the type of finish you would like for your concrete. The three most common types of concrete finish are smooth, exposed aggregate, and broom finish, as seen here. This concludes our discussion for today, and if you have any specific questions about pouring a concrete foundation, please give us a call. Or if you have any questions about our design renovate process, we would be happy to talk with you about that as well. In the meantime, good luck with your renovation, and we'll see you on the next project.